search lies at the very heart of the web. With over 30 trillion websites, the world of information that they contain would become unnavigable if we did not have search to find it, categorize it, grade it, and then present it to us in response to our search queries. Search, therefore, is how we navigate the web. It is what gives it shape and gives the information it contains meaning. Yet, search is imprecise. Until very recently, we had to rely on Boolean search, a statistical analysis model that uses the operators AND, NOT, OR, and NEAR to create a probability model of answers to a search query. Boolean search relied on keywords, so a document, for instance, that had the words HELP and SEO would be delivered high on Boolean search to a query that included those keywords, such as SEO help for my website. The reason a page from my own website comes up in response is because the keywords used in the search are currently present in the URL of the web page's address, and also because within the page itself there are keywords placed strategically in the text. Boolean search, of course, does not work quite so simply. While it does indeed use text statistical analysis to create a probability of a page's likelihood to satisfy a search query, it also relies on an additional 200 different metrics that Google routinely uses to verify that probability. Despite this fact, it is quite easy to gain, which is why SEO has been such a big business with a sometimes iffy reputation. Well, the good news is that search is changing. It is changing from the Boolean search that gave us the 10 best probable answers in response to a search query, which we then had to sort through ourselves by visiting each link, to a more accurate computational type of search that is typified by search queries like How old is President Obama? which provides direct answers right on the search page. Semantic search is as different from Boolean search as apples are from oranges. The transition to semantic search also marks a transition on the web as we go from websites to people. Now, this is an odd statement to make. The web, after all, continues to be made up of websites. It is on websites that we go to find out information, to consume news and to buy stuff. So how can we say that it is now a web made up of people? The transition we talk about refers to the way search now works. In order to understand natural speech in search queries and return results that best meet them, it has to understand what these words really mean. To do that, semantic search uses a number of techniques which include using Resource Description Framework Attributes or RDFA for short, Keyword to Concept Mapping, Graph Patterns, which are basically used to formulate patterns for locating interesting connecting paths between resources on the web, something called Entity Extraction, and Fuzzy Logic. Basically, all of this takes the web of unstructured data, which we have become used to, and turns it into a web of structured data. The best way to visualize this is to think that it takes the information that exists only within specific verticals on the web and it now indexes that information in a way that makes it transportable. So, in a semantic web, personal attributes like trust, authority and reputation can be calculated by machine logic and then they can be transported with a person's digital profile as that person moves around the web. This means that when it comes to SEO, all the things you did in the past that included keywords, link building, content writing and page building on a website, now take a secondary role to the way a website is perceived by the people who are on the web. The sharing of content of the website, its mentions in social networks, the importance and trustworthiness of the people who interact with its content, the people who leave comments and the people who share it on Twitter, for example, create a complex social signal that Google 
it uses to better understand what the website does, how good it is at what it does, and whether it should be ranked for specific search queries. So, to recap, the transition to semantic search weakens a lot of traditional SEO activities and introduces some new ones. It now takes into account the use that people make of websites and their content, and it assesses the importance of each website relative to that activity. The biggest change by far is that because of the time and effort it takes up to build up personal profiles that enjoy trust and authority on the web, there is little point in trying to game semantic search. The web has now become a little more honest. Thank you.